All right, guys, printer ink. It's a scam. I think I've seen something related to this, but let's check out this video. This is a printer ink cartridge. You know, they make it giga hard to, you know, actually tear this apart part without, like, t tools, but it's not impossible here, guys. He's using just, like, um, like a screwdriver and probably, like, a hammer, so. No way. In the past, printers were the worst, most unreliable products we had to deal with on a daily basis. But to be fair, I feel like printers have gotten a lot better in the last few years. For the most part, they connect to wireless networks pretty easily. Right, they're actually so legit now, bro. They're actually Wi-Fi. They, uh, I, I got a printer, printer where I live, man, and that's all you have to do is like, a, you know, turn it on. It goes through some updates. Bluetooth connection or whatever, or Wi-Fi or whatever, something, somehow it connects, but yeah. And you can connect to them without software or drivers and just print wirelessly. And at least for me, they have. Oh yeah, there's like a printer thing, printer tab or whatever. So yeah, it's legit. I, I do, uh, you know, printers are for the win nowadays. Been working. But the one thing that has never changed is the absolute ripoff that are printer ink cartridges. And in this video, I'm going to open up one of these and show. Guys, let's look at the prices here, man. Look, $24. Oh my gosh, $72. Just because it's fancy packaging with the stuff printed on there doesn't mean it's worth as much, man. They, they, they're scamming us. I'm going to open up one of these and show you what's actually inside. It is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It's so I, I thought there would be at least a little bit of like a vial or something, you know? Something in a vial, like a small vial. Dang, man. It's literally like ink absorbed into cotton, it seems. But let's check it out. So look, I'm not currently <laughs> printing very much, but I do have a hot sauce business and I'm constantly... <laughs> hot sauce? Oh, snap, bro. Got some premium hot sauce going on here. Only mailing out bottles of hot sauce, so I need to print labels. So I went to Walmart looking for some super cheap, simple printer that can just print out labels. It doesn't have to do anything fancy or ridiculous at all. And I found this Canon printer copier scanner combo for $50. How in the hell can they make this for Dang, bro. That's pretty legit, man. Printers are getting cheap. $50, but I thought, hey, I've used Canon printers before. They're great. Let's do it. Said can printers. I don't know what a can printer is, but it just looks like a printer to me. Wireless for the win as well. So I get home, <laughs> set it up in just a few minutes, and honestly, it works great. But fast forward a week, and boom, I'm already out of ink. So I go on Amazon, I buy more. Fast forward a week or two later, I'm out of ink again. So well, bro, you got a business. You're printing quite a bit, bro. You got to print a lot of labels, you know what I mean? Not that... I personally use a printer like once every six months, but but this bro, he's got a business. He's got to print like multiple labels a day. Maybe you have even up to 20 labels a day, man. So this time I go back to Amazon. Let's see if he improvises here with, the, you know, how much he's wasting on printer ink. And I'm ready to drop some money. I splurge and I buy the extra large printer cartridge. But when it comes, I feel this thing. It's still so light. It feels hollow. I can shake it. There's nothing inside it so what in the world but i put it inside fast forward a few weeks boom i'm out of ink again how is this possibly happening so look we all know the scam they sell you some really cheap printer maybe they even lose a little bit of money on the printer and they get you hooked on these cartridges that have these computer ah uh, that's why it's so cheap they actually might be losing money off these things chips on them that talk to the printer so that you can't possibly buy some knockoff printer cartridge and you just have to buy fifty dollar ink cartridges every week for the rest of your life well yesterday i was walking through costco and bro boom right there in front of me is the printer of my dreams this was an epson eco tank printer i've never seen any oh, snap bro look at the ink right there man that looks like a lot of ink Looking like this but basically, instead of printer cartridges, it has these gigantic ink reservoirs. Not sponsored, but, you know, I'm sure they'd li love for them to, you know, for this guy to promote the product. But this looks like a superior product, guys. Like, it's got a little touch screen and stuff. That you can fill up yourself for a fraction of the cost. Look at all those inks, bro. Three different colors. Four different colors, man. Never seen that before, right, guys? Why not, why not provide every single color, bro? I'm sure they sell it. And this thing is supposed to be able to print something like 20 times more pages. 
I bought it right away. The setup was super easy, but instead of snapping in the cartridges, now you have to fill up these tanks with these included bottles. Without that, that is so cool, bro. 2023, we're still using ink, bro. We we got a lot, we got a while for uh, you know, we got a while, you know, we got a you know, step up our technology game. It seems, right? You know what I mean? Without installing any drivers or any software, both my laptop and my iPhone were able to find it and instantly print. Yes, it works. Now the printer came with two gigantic bottles of black ink, each one 127 milliliters, which got me thinking, I wonder how much ink is actually inside one of my Canon printer cartridges. To my surprise, the box actually tells you 11.9 milliliters. Oh my gosh, bro. You buy 10 of those, that's like one of those bottles almost, or less than one of those bottles. $7,500 spent. Or, or like $200. How much is 11.9 milliliters, you might be wondering? Well, this is exactly 12 milliliters of water. Look at how little this is. But even still, when I hold this, it feels hollow. And when I shake it, I hear nothing. It's like there's no liquid in this at all. I wanna see if this actually has 11.9 milliliters. First, I drilled a hole in one of these brand new cartridges. And the first thing I realized was that the drill bit was hardly dirty. And when I tipped it over to dump it out, no ink came out at all. I then went outside so that my wife wouldn't kill me and I opened up the printer cartridge. I could not believe what was inside. No way. I thought there was gonna be a little reservoir with some ink in it. In yeah, I thought there was gonna be like a, just like a little bottle full of ink, but we got this? Come on now. Dead, there were two small pieces of foam that were lightly dusted with printer ink. I'm telling you, there was such little ink on this thing that it didn't even soak all the way through. Look at the white areas here. No way. Oh my gosh, cannons cutting, cutting corners, man. They could be selling, it could be like a very small like plastic bottle or something. But no, they got, they gotta have it absorbed in that, bro. That's pretty sad. I don't know why they did it. Maybe to, maybe to you know, cut cost or whatever of the production of it which seems to be the most uh viable option hey it's hardly even wet in there there's nothing in here oh my gosh it's barely moist with ink barely wet inside here and when i squeeze this as hard as i could with pliers I could get like a single drop to come out of this. 11.9 milliliters of ink is almost no ink at all. Dang, that's a power of concentrated ink, right guys? It's a little bit, it can go a long way, I guess. Wonder how many prints it can actually do though. And I'm telling you, this was not even close to 11.9 milliliters. Doing a little bit of math here, these ink tanks hold 10 times more ink than the cartridges do, but they're also half the price. So it's literally 20 times cheaper to fill this up with ink rather than continue to- Yeah, but it's also $200 for the printer, man. That's quite a bit of money. Buy these damn cartridges. So look, if you're only printing out a few pages a month, it probably doesn't matter. But if you're printing out a few pages a day, you are getting so ripped off, it's ridiculous. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure that the Epson printer is the answer. This thing is brand new. I literally just opened it today. Of course, it's working perfectly right now. But my biggest fear is that down the road, all of the print heads are going to clog up. Now we know, now we know. The nice thing about the cartridge system is that not only are you replacing the ink, you're also replacing the print head. So it's like you're kind of getting a fresh printer each time you replace one of these. How long will the Epson survive? I have no idea. When it comes to just printing documents, that's 600 for, oh. I've had really good luck with high-end laser printers, but these things were very expensive in the past. And Hey, laser printer, there you go, there you go. So we do have laser printers, I did not know. They were gigantic. I know today they make smaller and cheaper ones, but I haven't personally tested them, so make sure to read the reviews if you're gonna go that route. I have found that when I'm printing photos, I really need an inkjet printer. I did do a test on this printer, and surprisingly, it looked much better than I thought it would. But if you're gonna be printing photos, Epson makes a much higher end version of this. I would definitely suggest that one. I'm so Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry to say that I can't give this printer a glowing review just because I haven't. I don't really print photos. Do you guys? I used it long. You can print like 
actual like photos bro that's cool long enough yet i don't know how long it's going to survive but i do know that these printers that take these overpriced cartridges are a giant waste of money all right all right we got f stoppers in the description guys did not know about it's outrageous somebody needs to sue the printer companies facts it's always been the case. Never bought a printer without first checking the print cartridge's price. Generally, the rule seems to be spend more on the printer sale to get cheaper cartridges. But the economy, econom, economics of this will always depend on the printing printer requirements. X. I bought a brother laser printer at Kmart back in 2015. I said a brother laser printer. Still haven't had to charge a toner and I print on a semi regular basis. I print a lot with it for the first few months. Yeah. Printers are, you know, thank you for letting me, us know, but I didn't think, think it would be that much of a scam, but it is, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions on Twitch, and I'll see you guys next one.